Hi everybody, this is Mr. Mendoza. This is your math lesson for today. Um, before we get started, I just want to go over really quickly. It is game day today, so I've listed a few games here, four. Maybe I'm going to add some more later on um, today for you. But anyways, I would like to just go over yesterday's work and go through it. So 3 fourths equals 6 eighths. It is true. Half is equal to 6 12th, and that is true. Now, if you're looking at these and you're going, Mr. Mendoza, I think I can do, can tell you a little bit if it's true or not by just, just um, without even finding the picture. And so a few of you have noticed that if you take uh, the numerator and denominator and you write it down, and then you write down the numerator and denominator of the other fraction. If you, and a, and a few of you saw this actually, if you see that the same thing happens for the numerator and the denominator, it means it's equal. So what I'm saying is that one becomes six. So how do you go from one becomes six? Well, you can times it by six, which will give you six. So whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. And the reason why you do that is because it is an equal sign. So this equal sign means left side equals right side. And if it's, that's the case, it should make sense. So two times six is 12. So that's why it that one makes sense. Let's do a false one. Seven eighths is five twelve. That's what it's saying. Five twelve. Well, by Landon looking at the picture here, for sure, seven eighth is a lot greater than five twelfths. But if we look at here, seven fifth. Well, how do you go from seven to fifth? Okay, I'm, I'm having a tough time here. Maybe I take away two. And then if I do that, then I have to take away two down here. That should be six, five, six. Even that doesn't make sense. So just keep that in mind when you are doing equivalent fractions. Whatever you do to the top numerator, which means the numerator is here, you have to do the same to the bottom. So how do I get from one number to the other number, okay? But if you're looking for more of a visual, you can certainly do that by looking at the simple fractions, the representation of the fractions that Landon and most of you have created down here. So we have 3 ninth equals 1 third. That's true right there. Now I want to go over this real quick because it's such a good opportunity. Three ninths, one third. How do you go from three to one? Well, you can divide it by three. And whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So three divided by three is one. Nine divided by three is three. So that becomes true. So that is true there. 5 tenth is equal to 7 twelfths. I believe, I believe Landon meant to say false here. Okay, meant to say false. Oh, with some of my cursive writing there. Okay. False, true, two thirds. Well done, Landon. One tenth equals that. Great. One is a whole, so that's good. This is more so for the grade fives here, but grade jobs one and three sixths, so one whole. And three sixths is there. And nine over six is true. Two, well done. Well, well, well done. Good job, Landon. So just, that is what you're doing for, that was the work from yesterday. So if you had that, that's great.
the work for today is game day. So you just choose any of these games and play them. And that's it for today.